our special guest this morning, ladies and gentlemen, Emma Forbes. Yay! Welcome back, Emma. Thank you. <laughs> so we have a surprise for you. Hold, <laughs> hold your fire. The one time live and kicking star, heavens, that feels like a fair time ago now, has Thank a new you. Saturday evening show on Rocking Radio 2 alongside camp comic Alan Carr. Yes. From Andy Peters to Alan Carr. You've obviously got a thing for macho guys. <laughs> 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 you could say that. Why? Do you think Alan's a bit camp? Uh, no. Is, a is, a is Andy still looking for the right girl? That's what he told me. Uh, he's got the right girl in there. Yes. Right. Okay. I'm glad to hear it. <laughs> now, um, <laughs> tell us a bit about the show. Well, it's, it's basically the Andy to all the bad news in the world. Saturday nights between 6 and 8, Alan are there, and I are there to make you laugh. You can ring in. Uh, we'll supposedly sort out your wardrobe disasters. Um, <laughs> Alan is the new fashion fixer. And, <laughs> on radio. Um, on radio, which is... Yeah, why exactly. Not? And uh, so it's just a bit of a laugh, great party music. If you're going out, you can get ready to the music, and if you're staying in, you can ring in and chat to us. Brilliant. Now, because your name has been everywhere of late, because there have been loud rumours about ITV's desire to reunite with, with Philip Schofield of talking telephone numbers, you yes. look together for that one, uh, and bring you together on this morning. Can you say anything about that? Is there anything to say? If only I could. Um, I was as excited as everybody else when I read that and got congratulations on your new job text. I haven't actually heard anything. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Rats. <laughs> um, I, I think I'm on a list. How big the list is, I don't know. And every day there's somebody new mentioned. But I would adore to be reunited with Philip. The, the, the chemistry is Got already the chemistry, proven, isn't it? I've already worked proven. with him, love being a co-host, and, and it would be great. But whether it happens, I don't know. Is Sadly. it true you what? used to live next door to Sir Elton John? It is true. Next door street, not quite the next door house. Is that count? That, that must be a couple of miles yeah. away. <laughs> <isn't it? laughs> yeah, we weren't on top of each other. Several moats. <laughs> <laughs> we had a moat between us that I used to drink. No, yeah, different street, yeah, but before he became famous, just when he is first became right? famous. And there's a funny story that we went over to his house. I mean, literally, he wasn't famous at all, and he went, we went over to see him, and he adored... My dad was a great sort of father figure in his life and we went over and he played rocket man on the piano and he said you know do you think this is this is a good song and we all laugh now going imagine if he said you know what no i wouldn't bother with that <laughs> and you know what elton i just kind of save it for christmas parties and we went yeah it's great now talking uh, of music mm. um you are i mean this is a little known fact about evan forbes you are an accomplished musician aren't you mm. Loosely speaking. I mean, in an unusual sense, uh, yeah. rather like the Tibetan news f nose mm. flautists, mm -hmm. you are a, a nose recorderist, mm. is that right? I've kept it hidden, but I felt you were the right person to um, well, come clean. <laughs> <laughs> Thank Would you, you like to give us a quick demonstration? <laughs> if, you, if you've been following the adventures uh, of Britain Exploits the Mentally Challenged, uh, you, <laughs> might see this, you may see this as a future Royal Variety I'm, performance. Yeah, I was thinking Britain's Got Talent. And it's a little bit unseasonal, because I can only play um, Once in Royal David City. It's Christmas every day on this show. <laughs> right? Are you ready? I, I also play ne <laughs> Left Nostril as well. Left Quite nostril. an interesting fact. Left-handed, left, -handed, left Something nostril. Something Robbie Williams dreams of doing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> doing a build-up. <laughs> Hang on, I'm going to start again. <laughs> 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 I'm a little out of practice. I'll tell you what. You're... Do you think it could be me and Susan Boyle in the final? You're a damn good sport. I'll take that for nothing. You really are. Lucky I don't have a cold. Now, there's... Um... Uh, there's one other thing I have to ask you about okay, as well, because great. this goes back to when I was uh, at the Daily Mirror. I can remember yes. hearing stories that you were <laughs> running a children's shop and doing goodie bags. And stuff. Yes, I did. I did, but I, um, I'm not a particularly good businesswoman. My sister has now taken over the shop, and it's done fantastically well in my absence. <laughs> um, we did a huge buyout for about £2.50. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I did. I set up a kind of kids' party bag... Sweet it's shop. very competitive, this goodie bag. It's business, hugely competitive, it? and I'm really bad with customers because I get really personally offended because it was my stock, and if people came in and went, oh, God, I don't like that, I'd be in the background <laughs> going, what do you mean you don't like that? And my sister, my sister, who is brilliant at it, thought I was a little aggressive, so I got kind of designated to um, window displays and then gift wrapping in the basement, <laughs> and, and then I handed it to her, and it's done really well, and nobody's missed me, and she's thriving. Well, we've missed you. We're glad to have you back on radio. <laughs> Thank it's going to be you. lovely. Thank uh, you. And and talking of lovely things, lovely to have you with us this morning. Here's what's coming up on The Right Stuff today.